A fleet of UFOs showed up in South Africa, and it was yesterday. This is um, a screenshot from the time lapse that I did, and I do not have time today. My, my day is so packed full to share all that I want to share in one setting. I don't because I want to be able to show the actual footage. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this is, um, excuse me. This is, um, one of the images, and you can see Table Mountain. If you live in South Africa, you had a fleet of UFOs that showed up yesterday and maybe you saw it. Maybe you thought, well, this looks really strange. Uh, those look like UFOs. Those were UFOs and there were a lot of them. And the one in the middle particularly, the one right above my head right here, that was the massive mothership right above my head. And this one right over here, I believe it's that shape right there. But um, this is the first time I have seen them going to this particular live webcam. And um, it was remarkable. It was, and I, I want to um, get more into it later. I really do. But look at that, you all. This is, it's not make-believe. There's something going on. There's something big going on, especially in South Africa, for them to show up like that. I think um, Table Mountain is considered the earth part of, you know, the chakra of the earth. It's like that um, one part. I, I, don't, I don't know how they put it. Let me see if I can make this bigger right here. This I, mean, I haven't looking at the comments. I know I had someone already sitting in here waiting on me. Now look at these, you all. Look at that. There's no way that this cloud, whoopsie Gina, honey, be careful. There's no way that this cloud right above my head is just a cloud. It is a ship. It actually looks like a few ships that are combined. And more and more ships come in the footage. Uh, that is... Um, I'm gonna. I hope I get time. I want to have time today. It may not. It may not be until the night time to go through that footage, you all, so we can see it. It looks pretty good, sped up, but it looks even better. It, you know, it's better for documentation purposes if you can watch it as it literally manifests. Because the one right here beside me, it stays in the sky for a very, very, very long time and more ships keep coming and coming and coming is what happens. And again, this is um, in Cape Town, Table Mountain, South Africa. It's like, you've got to be kidding. But no, it, it's here, it's, it's right there is what it is. I don't have the comments section pulled up. Um, I apologize, I really do, but um, just just this one screenshot alone, and let's see the timestamp that it came from. There's the timestamp right there, 1753. It wasn't even 6 o'clock at night. It wasn't even that, that the ships started showing up um, before they showed up massive clouds rode over Table Mountain and um, big long big long streaky gray sh ships streaky gray ships um, showed up in the puffy cloud uh, cloaking and even as the puffy cloud cloaking rode over Table Mountain the top of it some of those ships just stayed right there and then they dissipated. The way was cleared. And these right here started showing up. Just, just look at that, you all.
I think I, I, I could be able to, I think I, I got some screenshots pulled up right here. You know, let me, let me get this, some screenshots that showed up. I can show the screenshots, I can, that showed up at different uh, timestamps. So you can see it right here. This is one, but you can see this was the main ship right there. The main ship, it never left, but yet more ships kept coming over here. This was like a massive one. There's one hovering over them, and they could be interdimensional also, you all. They really could be. I, I can show that, but I really do want to be able to have time to show the footage also. Um, hello, I just now clicked over here. Susan B. Honey and... Michael Applebrooks. Thank you, Naruka. This is this is important what happened. Look at this. 1618. You can see the shape of it right here, 1618, on this timestamp. And um, look at that. Look at that, you all. Look at that. How can one set and say Oh, that's just clouds. That's all it is. It's clouds. They just so happen to have a thing in there, and we've given them a new name for the clouds. Can you all hear me? Because um, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Um, look at that. Perfect. It's perfect. And there were, there's like, if you go on the Internet, and you do for a search of different types of UFOs. Look at this right here, you all. Uh, see, the, I hope this hand is showing up on here that I got this little cursor. Look at the smooth, the smooth outline of the edge of that ship right there. Um, so this right here, you all, uh, I did. I think I pulled up. Let me see. I think I pulled up over here there was like a list let me just stick this in here so you all can check out the images of this um, since I went into there and I will put the link to Table Mountain Cape Town South Africa so hello there in South Africa this was the um, right here link to this is the link to that particular webcam that I um, got last night. Now we got all of our links here, you all, we do. But these are the different types of UFOs. And um, I'm wondering, you know, you can see these. There's all kinds of types, you all, let's be honest. All kinds of types. But for this particular one, that's... Um, which one did I have pulled up on here? I've got so many pulled up, you all. Um, this one right here, you see the edge on it? Um, right here? I'm not sure. But, it, 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 okay, yeah. So, um, it looks like it curves up like that and curves down. It's like, this is like the middle section. And then there's like a, a dip and another dip and another dip so um i don't i don't i don't i don't think it's this one i don't it doesn't look like any of these you all you can go and search the ufo things they got yeah, up here there's all kinds of types up here that been documented go search your own ones and um you should be able to see them but yeah it's undeniable that a fleet of UFOs showed up and and what was happening you all what was you got to ask yourself what is what was happening on this physical earth and what is about to happen that would cause these ships to show up like a whole fleet of them what is getting ready to happen I, I read in a comment someone said they're showing up because they're trying to stop World War three from occurring uh, and you know if if the theories are true that inside the earth there are other civilizations like a middle earth and they don't want this earth destroyed that theory right there and that the other theory 
that the map that we see of this earth, there's so much more to it. There's more continents, there's more landmass than what they're telling us. And if there is more landmass than what they're telling us, then there's other civilizations that are on this earth. Other types of beings that are on this earth and they don't want their, this earth plane contaminated. Okay. So um, that's what, that's the theories too. They're showing up because they're tired of it. They're tired of the evil human race, m malevolent beings destroying this earth. They're tired of it and they want to intervene. That's one. Others say yeah, it's going to be a fake alien invasion. No, I, I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm supposed to be showing these. Um, Let me get back to my screenshots that I got open. Uh, let me come back over here so we can see them. I'm going to zoom up right here. And I would have showed the footage last night. It was so late. It really was so late. But by the time I got in the house and the time it got through, just wasn't enough time in the day and there's I don't have enough time in this day either right now but look at this you all this is um see how they kept gathering gathering right here this is like one gigantic massive UFO mothership and there were um, like other ships that came there also here, see, look at this, it's different layers right in here too. Right here. You can see them. You can look at you all. Come on. There's it's it's right there in your face. It really is at Table Mountain. And look right here. When I was told that when you saw lines like this, this is a massive cloaking technology. When you see the straight lines across, there's a massive ship that is cloaked. Uh, in the sky. You can see some more of this right here. You can see the timestamp now. It's 1629, but this was the main mothership right here. And this was another one. It was like a whole fleet um, came in. You can see still like over here and over here. Look at that. You can see it here. Looks like there's something else. There's looks like there's a massive ship, uh, like one of these disc-shaped ships on the top of the mountain. And you know, yeah, look at that. That's at 1718, still around the five, five something time span, right there. Five something time span. Look right inside there. Yeah, I like these pictures. I really do. I like the footage that um, showed up, but I want <coughs> to, excuse me, I want to show it in its entirety. I do. So you can see it because the documentation is priceless. It really is. Yeah, so there's like one, two, three, four, this one right here, and there's others that gathered. Now it's like 6 at night. The sun's going down. You can see them in the inverted mode at Table Mountain in South Africa. Right there, you all. Just look at that. And thank you for your comments, even though I'm, I don't have them pulled up right now. Thank you. It's like, what? What is taking place? Or what is about to take place? What is going to take place, you all? And I don't like to, um, I don't like to throw a negative spin on UFOs. I do not like that. That's negative energy and I don't like it. Really don't like it. But I, I, I know that they're here. You know that they're here. See, look at that shape right there. And um, see, look at this one too. It looks like um, there's something, this is like a different shape of one. Or there's maybe one that like attached itself to the bottom. This you see by 1827 the dark clouds are here. But that massive mothership never left. It's just got a lot of gray clouds covering it. And that's really that right there is what it looked like. Right there. Right there. That's what I showed last night. 
and um, I think they did come out of the water and or they are interdimensional you can see that from last night if you didn't watch that video it was a short one. Oh yeah this was something else that I noticed whatever this thing was right here I saw it in one of the clips it it flew across the sky that's not an airplane it was some type of a other type of a craft in the sky right there and I thought if I could zoom up on it it flew across the sky around that time when all these ships were there it zipped right through and it's not an airplane you are it's some other type of um, ship that flew across at that time stamp um, you see that but it, it zipped so 1831 let's see what the timestamp was for that okay 1831 so this is seconds seconds and no airplane flies that fast is that second yeah that's seconds it was in the airplane it was some kind of an interdimensional um, some kind of UFO it didn't I don't think it liked these being I don't think it liked these showing up right here I really don't think it did but look you can see there's one here one here one here one here and there's a big mass of them over here and they're just setting there now this right here I don't know what this one was either have no idea what that was I just caught a glimpse of it trying to go through the feed really fast this morning um, right there 183105 I kept taking screenshots of it I thought can I get a better better view of it but that's all I got of it coming through that's minuscule that's minuscule compared to these okay it is it's teeny tiny and I, I do have an image of the um, an airplane so you can see it an airplane compared this is an airplane this is one of our airplane you all this tells you how small our biggest flying machine is compared to this ship the ships that are here this is tiny teeny teeny tiny you could probably park one of these inside of those okay you probably could okay that's it that's it of that you let me put this back to me this is um it is um it's my desire to come back on here later today it might be this evening when i get some free time when i don't feel pressed for time to go through the footage um yeah so you all can see it too because i want to look at it too i haven't got to watch it you know, in entirety, I like to look at frame by frame at times, I do. But um, thank you so much for watching. And this is part one of part two. There will be a part two. Because um, we want to know. We want to know how these showed up. What it looked like as they started to appear and manifest in the sky. And um, anything else that flew by them. We, we really want to know. So um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello there in South Africa, Table Mountain, Cape Town, South Africa, to my friends there too, even though I've never met you in person, hello, um, from my heart to yours, love you, have a wonderful rest of your day, you all, something big is happening. Um, or these would not have shown up like they did. Love you.